Hey Megan, how many times do you suppose we've wrapped a water heater tank? A few, that's for sure. But it's always a great way to save energy and money on heating your water. And what if I told you there was a way to have hot water without the big tank or the wrapping? Mmm, tankless water heater. I like it. Tell me more. That's what I thought you'd say. Lucky for you, I caught up with just the guy who could tell us all about it. Justin Ross from Colony Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning. Justin, thanks for joining us today. We're very eager to learn more about tankless water heaters. You're the guy to fill us in. Talk to us about a tankless water system. A uh, tankless system pretty much is just a system that we're, has a small tank and it heats up the water on demand as you need it, so you never run out of hot water. How does the tankless system work? Get, take, take us through that process. Um, pretty simple. Cold water goes in and there's a stainless steel tank up here, a dual, it's actually two tanks. It heats up water up on demand. It could be full fire, half fire, low fire. Um, so if you have high fire, it'll go through there, uh, warm up the water, and you know just as much as you need. Is, is a tankless system right for every house, or how does that vary? Um, so there is a flow rating on this guy. So if you do have a house that has like more than three bathrooms, you know if you're using them all at once, this thing won't run out of hot water, but it'll reduce the flow. So okay. you might have to put in two and cascade them, or a storage tank. All right. So as I look at this. Uh, an, el an elaborate system and, and uh, talk to us a little bit about the what you have set up here. It looks like a, a little more piping. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a little more um, uh, extreme than a normal water heater. Um, hot and cold go in gas, but then um, this model has a recirc line which comes in and which all, it sends that water hot water through loops so you have that hot water instantly at your faucet. Okay, yep. and, and the flu, I've got to be aware of that. Right? Yep, yep, there's an intake and an exhaust that have to go out with this model, yep. Okay, but it really notice, I mean, it's much smaller than the conventional water tank, right? Yeah, yeah, 80% less space than the average tank water heater, yep. Okay, all right, so I, I'm interested, I'm a homeowner, I, I want to go to a tankless system, you come out, walk me through a little bit of the process when you come out and, and tell me about putting this in. Um, we'll come in and we'll have to look at your gas, uh, main gas line, make sure it can handle this unit. This unit is uh, 200,000 BTUs, where standard water here is 45,000 BTUs. So we have to make sure your main gas line is sized right. And then um, we prefer to put them on outside wall because with the flues, because this unit has flues that have to go out. So it's easier just to go up and out. There's a determined length that you can only run. I mean, it can go in an old house, it can go in a new house, but it's... Okay, the, yeah. you, there's a good thing because we talk about obviously in a new house, I mean, it's, it, you, you build for it, but older house, retrofit, uh, take us through that, Justin. Um, as long as you meet all the standards, the BT rating, um, if you're, you can run the flues outside without, you know, being by a window, um, you gotta have a close to a floor drain because it's a condensating unit, you okay. know, all those things. If you have all that, then yeah, definitely. When we talked about advantages, what's a disadvantage to having a tankless system? One is it has to be maintenance once a year. We have to come out and run um, a pump through the just the tank itself to get it cleaned out, okay. decalcify it. Justin, if I switch from my conventional over to this, uh, is, is the process, is it a, a difficult process for a homeowner to make that switch? Um, usually it takes our plumbing tech about a day. I mean, they're pretty pretty quick, yep. Let's talk a little bit about costs. Uh, putting in a tankless system, ballpark, what's the, putting this system in, how much is it gonna cost? Um, so like a standard tank water heater is about fourteen to $1,500. Okay. This unit would probably be like thirty-five to $3,700. Okay, so if there's a little more cost. How about energy savings over the year? Um, it's way more efficient than a standard water heater. It's only firing up when you need water, where a tank is always heating and heating and heating just to keep that tank satisfied. It's about $100 a year is what you'll save. You. Okay, and the lifespan of a tankless system is what? Um, this guy has a stainless steel tank in there, and that tank is warranted for 15 years. Compared to the traditional conventional tank system, was how long? Like six to eight. So yeah. about twice as long with this with this tankless system. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, Justin, you you've shared a lot of great information with us about the tankless system. Thanks. For, stay put because I know Megan has more questions for you, and if you'd like to learn more about putting a water heater in your home, visit our website at PowerhouseTV.com.